Welcome to the Women in Leadership, Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast. I'm Charlie. And I'm Amanda. Together, we are working to connect women in leadership and business to build relationships and empower each other, improving health and wellness of the community, body, mind, and soul, sharing the heart and soul of who we are and what we do. Today's guest is the founder of Glimmer Learning LLC, a company specializing in virtual engagement training and coaching for speakers. Lisa is a certified master trainer and virtual facilitator, bringing two decades of experience along with tools and techniques to her clients to teach them how to feel confident, bring their natural charisma, and connect more authentically every time they speak. We are very, very blessed to have you with us today, Lisa. Thank you for joining us at our table. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here with you. I've been listening to all your fabulous guests and just excited to have connected with you earlier this year. Absolutely. So Lisa and I and Amanda has been, you know, <laughs> watching from the sidelines, but she, uh, we met you initially during the Women Empowering Women Business e-summit with Ali Jean, and we're looking forward to the second one coming this summer. Um, yeah. And we just keep talking about this event because it's, what I think it was a big step for us as a beginning podcast, but then it also was a an amazing way to connect with other amazing, inspirational women from all over. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I totally agree. I met so many people through that summit and so many like you said, inspirational women. And uh, I, I, have a, I have a show called Engage and Shine as well. And I've been able to speak to women from that summit and ask them to come on and be guests on my show mm -hmm. so that they can continue empowering other women with their beautiful stories and message, just like what Ali Jean was doing mm -hmm. through the e-summit. And, and mm -hmm. that's the power of us all sharing our stories and our message and connecting through, you know, platforms just like this. I, I just think it's so beautiful. I think it's really, really cool how, um, like the universe has brought everybody together mm -hmm. in, um, at the right time, at the right place, mm -hmm. at the right, um, you know, when, when we're, we're ready for it. Um, and mm -hmm. for those of you who don't, who feel like this message uh, or these messages that you're hearing today aren't, aren't for you, listen carefully because they are, these messages are mm -hmm. absolutely for you. It's, um, it's interesting when we, we start to learn and listen and connect with other women, because, you know, there's always something to learn from the other person mm. and there's always something to you know inspire us and keep us going mm. so thank you lisa for being our inspiration today <laughs> um i'd like you to take a couple of minutes um and tell us a little bit more about what it is you do why you do it and what's going on in your life right now <laughs> oh okay well what i do is uh, i i really started doing this because of just the void I felt was going on out there when the pandemic started. And I know that might sound a little crazy uh, that I felt the silence that started. And I share a little bit of this in, a, in, in my book uh, that actually, coincidentally enough, you talk about obstacles. I, I actually didn't have an obstacle this week. I had a, a really great thing happen this week. Uh, I'm a first time author and, and my book actually came out this week that shares the story of why I started my business, which is because of the silence that I, that I heard, ironically enough, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. I felt that people were not sharing their message and their stories. Mm -hmm. And through the many, many years of me working in learning and development and working, uh, becoming virtually certified and, and a master trainer, I already had been doing things virtually for so long. And I just could not bear the thought that there were so many people out there that felt challenged. And as you mentioned, this week is about obstacles. They felt this was a huge obstacle in their business and in their life and couldn't move forward. 
So I knew that that was the moment that I needed to stop all those voices in my head that said, you can't start your business. You can't do this. Uh, and I have a huge fan for, you know, my husband is my biggest cheerleader and he had been telling me for years, start your business, please, please, please. You know, you could do so much more on your own. And so I finally listened to him and shut up those voices in my head and said, you know what? I know how to help these these people who are out here struggling, how to do this virtually, how to transition their in-person messages to virtual and be engaging, be able to powerfully connect and be their genuine self. Because I think that that's what we really feel like we lost in the beginning, that we didn't know how to stare at this camera lens and be ourselves. We all of a sudden turned into this robot and we were like, oh, the light camera and audio, it's all on. And now we, we became someone else. And Mm -hmm. that's what we felt, you know, we felt disjointed and, Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I wanted people to feel relaxed and confident and be themselves and be able to truly shine. And, and that's, that's why, you know, I, 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 I mentioned my, my show engage and shine. That's why I call it engage and shine is because I want you to engage with you and then go out and shine when you share your message, because I just feel that that's what's so beautiful and how, as you mentioned, this is, this is so amazing. If Mm -hmm. you can really truly be you you can connect like I would have never met you. I, this is just so fabulous to me. And I love being able to see people light up and, and shine when they, when they connect with themselves and they go out and they share their voice and their message. Yes. So much. Yes. (laughs) I'm over here going, yes, yes. That's exactly why yeah. we're doing what we're doing, and you know, connecting with other wo- women who are doing similar things to love and support, mm-hmm. you know, each other. You know, there's enough abundance for everybody to go around. We don't have to hoard it to ourselves. We don't have no. to um, feel like we're competing. With yeah. Them, with no. <laughs> you know, we're no. all on the same little blue planet flying through the universe. Let's work together yes yeah and you know with each other instead of against each other yeah yeah yeah. there's no competition I mean and I and that's what I think is so beautiful about this is Mm -hmm. that this is a way for you to showcase how unique you are when you are able to be you and share who you are Yes. There are there lots of podcasts out. Oh yes. Are there lots of people that do things that are similar in nature? Well, yes. However, is there another Charlie? Is there another Amanda? Is there another Heather? No, people love you and they, they want to hear you and your you know, meet the, the inner energy that you have. And that's how people connect Mm -hmm. and get to, love you and follow you and say, no, no, I want to listen to this podcast because I love them. I I don't want to miss one. Or if I do, I'm going to listen to the replay. And that's the power of coming in front of this camera and sharing your voice and letting people see you, hear you, get to know who you are. And that's, that's what I love supporting and serving people with is for them really getting to relax and become themselves so that they can have people like that in their, in their corner. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, that just, yeah. like, oh, that just makes me just feel all tingly inside. Right? It just, you know, <laughs> um, I, I've done a lot of things. I know Amanda's done a lot of things, but <laughs> you know, and it, everything else every other job quote unquote I've had yeah. in my adult life uh, up until now up until doing the podcast I felt like I kept hitting a wall you know uh, yeah. I kept hitting a wall I yeah. kept hitting yeah. stop signs I kept hitting stop signs you know it was so hard and I was like why is this so hard why does 
it's because it wasn't where I was supposed to be. Yes. And yeah. it wasn't yeah. where, you know, you weren't where you were supposed to be. And yeah. now everything is like just falling into place and it's easy. But, you know, I remember thinking too at the other air quote jobs <laughs> <laughs> that I had was, and I thought to myself like, this is just a job. Why is this so difficult? Why is <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest things that could possibly happen mm-hmm. happening like this mm-hmm. this is dumb <laughs> yeah <laughs> I totally can relate <laughs> yeah and it was so hard so uh Lisa what you do is you help bring out that authenticity in people so mm-hmm. that they're more comfortable sharing who they are with the world yes 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 Yes, so, I mean, it, it, it's it, it's it's so really rewarding to see that, and and you the light that we have inside us, mm-hmm. you know, we have we all go through moments and obstacles mm-hmm. and challenges. Mm-hmm. Those are what make us the great, powerful beings that we are. And being able to be vulnerable, that's an obstacle and a challenge in itself. However, there's so many people out there that can learn from those stories. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, what's so powerful and interesting that we're talking about this today. And I didn't even think about it until right now when I just said that. Uh, my episode tomorrow is about how to share your story and how to be able to share a powerful, you know, vulnerable moment in your life. And to, and, and when you don't share that, you're actually holding back your audience from growing. I think about that. You're yeah, not yeah. just limiting yourself. You're holding your audience back from growing. Mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah I think it was said to me one time that um if I don't let people see who I really am they're never going to really appreciate me for who I really am oh, oh yeah that's wow. good wow it's like Morgan Freeman deep Right? That is. I like it. I like I it. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah. You can use that later, Lisa. I give you license to use it. Okay. I might use that tomorrow. Do it. Do it. <laughs> so, um, and so this is uh your episode that you're doing tomorrow on your show, uh, Engage and Shine, which mm-hmm. um your social media links have been pa- posted in our comments, and they will also be in the description for those of you who download the recording. Um to get in contact with Lisa, but Lisa, when somebody comes to work with you, uh, what does that look like for them? Oh, well, first I love just sitting down and finding out all about them. You know, I, I really want to know all about who I'm working with. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think that we're just going to, we're going to dive right into lights, camera, audio, and let's jump in front of the camera and do a video. And that is, that is not how I, you know, how I start. It is about learning who you are, what your business is about, what your goals are. And I am a big believer, no matter where you are in your business, if you've been doing it for, you know, 20 years, two months, whatever, I want to work on ensuring that you truly get in touch with what I call your why. And I always start there. And I know everyone does a why exercise. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know what why exercise they've been through. So I start with my why exercise, Mm -hmm. which goes through four different quadrants. And for me, it's about them engaging with their inner spark. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mantra, my tagline for my show is, I believe we all have a spark that's ready to be lit. Mm -hmm. And that's where I start is I ensure they are lighting that spark. And if they don't have it, we're going to light it together because they have to know what that light is and why, what their true why is. And these four quadrants that we go through, 
will be something that they will refer back to again and again and again, not just during their time while they're working with me, but in the future as they are growing and looking back. And if at any point in time, they're having a rough day, one of those, like you said, they're having an obstacle that they're going yeah. through, or maybe they <laughs> need to get ready to uh, do something like speak or even come on a podcast today. And it's one of those days they're struggling. They can break out mm -hmm. this, this exercise and go, you know what? I feel good. I feel mm -hmm. good. I know why I know I'm reconnecting with all of these four areas and they may even grow out some of those areas at some point in time. And if you like, I can share briefly what those four areas are. If you're interested, go ahead, <laughs> share away. So uh, at a very high level, I'll share real quick what the four areas are. So they're uh, my introduction, my feelings, my experience, and then the last one is I'm compelled. So those are the four mm -hmm. quadrants we go through to dig very deep into your why. And we hold on to those throughout the entire time that we work together and we refer back to them. I love that. Me too. <laughs> I, have, I have a question and this is like, this is our authenticity unscripted question here. <laughs> have you ever worked with somebody who started off with a business type or business idea. And by the time they were done working with you, you were able to help them pull out something completely different in the end. And they were like, why didn't I think of that? I think we stay on a similar path most of the yeah. time. However, I think they discover things with in their business that they sure. want to do mm -hmm. that are way different than they planned on doing. Mm -hmm. And okay. I, I, yeah. yeah, I would say that that is what happens a lot of times. And, and I'll say that that even happened with me. Mm -hmm. I, if you look at my website right now, and this is, this is probably bad to even say, if you look at my <laughs> website right now, it does not fully align. I probably need to get with Allie Jean on this. So if you're watching Allie Jean, <laughs> it does not the fully, comments. <laughs> fully align with everything that I mm -hmm. do. It, I, it does not describe the full experience, I should say. Does it mm -hmm. say everything I do and the different, you know, what you're going to get and the different things? Yes. However, I feel like it could do a better job at describing what it mm -hmm. is that you're going to get the benefit or what you're going to get if you work with me. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I love doing things like this because you asked me genuinely, well, what is it like? What, what happens? And I can express it way better than if you look at my website and you go, okay, well, yeah. But uh, I think that that's what happens a lot of times when I work with my clients is that we talk through things and walk through what they really have to offer and they pull out so much more mm -hmm. that they're like, oh, well, I've been going about this the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I really could be doing a little bit more or I, I am worthy of more. Mm -hmm. And that's the big one. I'm worthy of more than Absolutely. what I actually saw. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's one thing that I think is hard for a lot of us women to understand is that we are worthy. Mm -hmm. We are already more than enough. Oh yeah. You know, and we limit ourselves and we judge ourselves mm. more than anybody else ever will. Oh yeah. We are our own worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> we're our obstacle we, we are, are our yeah. biggest obstacle yeah. that's exactly yeah exactly absolutely. the truth yes absolutely absolutely so uh for those of us or for those of you those of us those of you who have been listening all week you know that our topic this week our, our sutra topic this week is obstacles that distract and um challenges that we face through obstacles and just thinking about these things that we've been through in our lives 
that have taught us lessons. You know, um, the, like uh, Lisa was saying before we started the recording, is um, the obstacles that enter your life, you can look at them two ways, right? Obstacles or learning experiences. And you worded it a little differently, but um, I think that is 100% nail on the head, right? Yeah. Um, is the things that come into our lives as obstacles, what are we going to learn from that? And then mm -hmm. I ha also have this theory that the universe likes to make sure we learn the lessons. <laughs> So if we decide not to learn the lesson the first time around, it's going to come back and bite you, right? <laughs> and you're, you know, eventually you're going to learn those lessons. Like what Amanda was saying, if you want to learn patience, mm -hmm. you know, do you pray for patience and, and magically get it? Or do you get that lesson mm -hmm. that's going to teach you patience? Mm you know um and you know it's right up there with what my mom said nothing you ever gets for free oh, <laughs> you work for it. right <laughs> we don't want to hear that though we don't want to hear, hear that thing. <laughs> do as i say not as i do <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna continue our conversation with lisa and we are gonna move into today's meditation so uh, let's let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Settling the body, both feet on the floor, or if you're sitting cross-legged for the meditation, that's fine. Safety first, if you're driving, do not close your eyes. If you'd like to pull over someplace safe to do so, go for it. Or you can just listen along, it's up to you. Today, we are on day 32 of Meditations from the Mat by Wolf Gates and Katrina Ken Kennison. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in the search of fine pearls, who, on finding one pearl of great value, went out and sold all that he had and bought it. Matthew 13, 45. It's very old man in the sea, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in this New Testament statement on the nature of enlightenment, we see again the fundamental truth and power be behind Asteya or non-stealing. Asteya presents us with an opportunity to put our faith into action. Are we willing to give up all we have for that pearl that is our spiritual growth? For most of the, us, the answer is not yet. Asteya serves as a mirror, revealing ourselves to ourselves. As we shine in the spotlight of our awareness on non-stealing, we begin to see the manifold ways in which we act out faithlessness instead of faith. I've just returned from teaching at a week-long yoga retreat on a remote beach in Mexico. It was the most powerful experience of that sort I have ever had. I was either practicing yoga, teaching yoga, meditating, chanting, or fasting for seven straight days. The closing ceremony was deeply moving as the 65 participants shared their personal stories of healing and transformation. The next morning, I borrowed a pair of scissors from the hotel staff and began to remove the inspirational quotes we had posted on the walls of the yoga studio. As I used the scissors, I realized that they would be helpful on the next retreat, which was only three weeks away and at the same facility. So I wisely stored the scissors in my bag with the quotes. As I went to check out, the manager of the hotel asked me about the scissors. We were in the jungle, a few miles from town, and scissors apparently do not grow on trees down there. So I had the good fortune of opening up my suitcase in front of this loving woman to retrieve her scissors. This in the midst of my writing on a stea. Be careful what you pray for. My attempted theft of this woman's scissors gave me pause to think. It certainly brought home to me the difference between doing a lot of spiritual practice and truly standing in my spirituality. An Alcoholics Anonymous text says, either God is or he is not. Each theft, each time we forget to return something we borrow, each moment we give in to the impulse to covet or to be jealous, we are saying, my God is not. To practice Asteya, we must abandon ourselves to the care of the universe. We must be willing to give up all we have 
for the one true thing. We must say in each moment, with each thought, word, and deed, my God is. When I think of a stay at or non-stealing, one of the biggest things I think about is time. Stealing somebody's time. Mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and then also stealing somebody's peace. Mm, yeah because it's really easy to steal yeah. somebody's peace it's really easy for my kids to come in and be like hey mom oh yes <laughs> and steal the peace right but um you know and there's a million different ways that we 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 steal from each other and mm. you know when you really think about it you know what are you stealing from other people because mm. and, and it's not about stuff um it can be about stuff but usually it's not um and just really really thinking about that Lisa yeah no I I agree I don't think it is about stuff I think it is you know when we set the intention to spend time with each other mm -hmm. you know that that's one thing but I don't, I don't think we think about the opposite, like what you just said, mm -hmm. when we're spending time with someone, is it quality time? Because if it's not, you, you actually did steal time from them because you didn't really spend time with them well spent. I probably said time way too many times. There. <laughs> I, I think you get what I'm saying. I feel like, yeah if you don't spend quality time with someone, then you, you just wasted it. It, it, it really was a waste. And, and uh, yeah, I, I think, I think that that was really deep, actually what you said. And on the flip side, how much time do we steal from ourselves? Ooh. Yeah. Right. Okay. This, this right here, my cell phone is the <laughs> biggest time stealing culprit oh. in my house. Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah, yeah. That's the rabbit hole time stealer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, we always say it's so crazy how this topic aligns with this week and what's been going on and this goes into that. And I don't know if people really truly understand as in, I shouldn't say people are we listeners. That was, mm -hmm. that's a more respectful way to say that or polite way to say that. Um, this really isn't planned. Mm -hmm. These meditations, like we just, what's the topic? And it's in bold print, like what the title is. Okay. And then we, we go on, right? <laughs> so all of these things, you know, from me hearing the, the quote from Morgan Freeman to, you know, visiting with Lisa to Heather not being here because she's getting better and whatnot, always blows me away. And, you know, we're talking about stealing time specifically mm -hmm. at this moment and it brings me right into what I was <laughs> what I had actually planned on telling you guys today um you know in this part of the segment Heather usually talks about her weight loss journey and her health journey and how she's been doing fabulous and she's clearly still working on that right because she's mm -hmm. not here and uh right now we're getting ready to put our house on the market uh we've never sold a home before um we bought it from my in-laws so it was a very cut and dry deal and we're excited we're nervous at the same time I'm very much a planner. I want to know more so like this is due here. So I have to do these things to get to this point, but I don't want to be done at this point. I want to be done the day before mm -hmm. to give myself that. Like that's just how I've always been. Right. Mm -hmm. And my family is the complete opposite, the complete opposite. They will wait till the very last extreme moment to do anything. And I know because we've gone on so many hunting trips where we're leaving in hours and we're putting in a load of laundry and I'm standing there going, WTF are we doing here now? <laughs> what is happening right now? And, um, it's, it's funny because my, my husband has found a new time stealer and that is the Xbox and I love him. And I've said that a thousand times, but he is not a gamer. He is not a gamer. He could give two cents less about that stuff. Now, YouTube and hunting videos, those two are like, 
that's his jam right there. Mm -hmm. Now, what I have discovered that I like about him watching YouTube is creators usually put content on scheduled days, and usually that's not every single day. Mm -hmm. um, the Xbox, however, is a non-ending continuation of forward progress on we have to keep going because if we keep going, we get X, Y, and Z for this game, right? And so I told the family, I said, we have to get the storage area straightened out because a lot of it we're not taking because we're doing an out of state move. And so oh. it's a big move. And we're, yeah. we have four kids and my husband's, so there's six of us and a dog and ducks and all this stuff. <laughs> and I said, we have to go upstairs and sort through it all. That means we have to get the carport cleaned out, which we've kind of started. Mm -hmm. And it was, okay, let me do this one mission. It's a military game. And this I'm is like, an obstacle that distracts you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm like, if I didn't have enough obstacles that I felt like, distracted myself like you mm -hmm. said i constantly like start the dishwasher switch the laundry fold the laundry put it away social media ooh, fly on the wall like i'm all <laughs> over the place already and now you know as mom i feel like i have to like keep the kids on track and we always tease that husbands can be like children yeah. um but oh jesus take the wheel on this game <laughs> I'm about lost it. And finally, I sat everybody down the other day and I said, here's the deal. We cannot do this if we are not all on the same page. Mm -hmm. So this is what has to happen. We all have to come together as a family. We all have to go upstairs. And all of the kids went, oh, <laughs> like, I, like I just deflated them. Oh. their spirits you know you mean and I'm mama like, i know and i said <laughs> if we don't do this together we will not be able to put the house on the market and that truly will throw everything all, everything else. all of our plans off and we may not be able to do this move so no. what do we want to do yeah and they're like well okay so oh. we've kind of put it like in pursuit but i'm like I told him, I said, so here's what's going to happen is we're either going to work together and get this done and we're all going to grim and bear it, right? Or what's going to happen is I'm going to take this distraction, this obstacle we call the Xbox and I'll pack that thing. That's not what I said. That's what I'm going to say here. I will pack that thing up and y'all ain't going to see it till we move. So I feel like today they're a little bit more motivated to... There you go. So yeah. sometimes you have to use realize that the obstacles for them as a family were creating a whole other obstacle for me. And I finally had to say something. Oh yeah. I had to say, look, you guys, this is not gonna work. I know you're having fun. This is great. My husband and my son do it together. They're like this cute little team, and one's a fighter pilot and the other one's a sniper. It's actually very sweet to watch until we have to get something done then it's not so sweet to watch any longer <laughs> and there are a lot of things that we have to get done in the day mm -hmm. you know when yes. you wake up in the morning what is on your task list mm -hmm. how much has to of that has to get done today and how much can wait but then how long can those things wait for right yeah how yeah. far can you push them off you know yeah. how long can you push those things off yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that's like oh go ahead Oh, I, I was just going to say, and I think a lot of times we, it's not that we consciously do this, but I think we get caught up in the obstacles mm -hmm. because we, it's not that we don't want to do the, the task or, you know, the, the things that are on our plate, it's, it's not comfortable. And it's, it's, you know, even your move, you know, I, I worked yeah. for a, trans, a transportation and logistic company for almost 20 years. Moving is the top three stressors in your life. And, uh, you know, in their own way, they, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to face the fact that they have to move and, and, you know, there's mm -hmm. psychology going on there in, the, in its own way. Uh, it's not just that they don't want to help and they don't want to do it. Right. It's, it's hard to move. It's hard to face that. And same thing with our everyday to do things. You know, we get caught up in our phone. We get caught up. Oh, well, yeah, I need to do this, but oh, let me, let me do this instead, because mm -hmm. maybe this is not as comfortable. 
-hmm. or, you know, we just get, we, there's things that we have to work out and deal with. And, and it has to do, that's why there's so many coaches and accountability partners and different things Mm -hmm. like that, because we need people to push us and to hold us accountable and to keep us on track. And like you, like just you're, you had to be the mom. You had to, you had to step in there and say, Hey, we have to do this. And it's uncomfortable, but we have to do X, Y, and Z to make it move forward and to do what we need to do. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's like our, our quote of the week too. The, and I, I don't want to say it wrong because it's a quote. Uh, I'm going to read it <laughs> off here. Opportunities to find deeper powers within ourselves come when life seems most challenging mm. by Joseph Campbell. Yes. There's a thing again. See? Yep. <laughs> that's right in every time yeah yeah so um with that being said you have this wonderful um we're 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 gonna uh talk about upcoming events you have that um upcoming well your show tomorrow (laughs) right yes and then this new book tell us real quick about this new book you got Okay. Well, it's actually a collaborative book, which Mm -hmm. made it really fun for me to do. So there's 50 authors in the book and Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. So I, I've never written anything. I'm super nervous about writing. It was so fun. Uh, We had our hands held the whole entire time. Some people in the book have written something before, but there was a few of us that were first time authors like me. So it made it really thrilling and exciting exhilarating to kind of go through that experience with them, but it's called Voices of the 21st Century, uh, Conscious Caring Women Who Make a Difference, and uh, I actually have a link to it on my, uh, I think you have the links to everything, but I, I have a link to it. I'm offering right now a uh, autograph copy and a special session with me uh, so that you can learn my favorite storytelling framework. And uh, I'm just super excited because within two days, it went to international best selling and just to be a first, yes, yes, I know to be a first time author and to get that, I, I, it's beyond, beyond what I ever imagined would happen the first time I wrote something. So I have one chapter within this book and it's a beautiful, beautiful book. I'm, I'm reading like every day I'm reading a chapter or two. I put it off intentionally. I could have read all of it already because I had access to it, but I waited until it was on Mm -hmm. sale myself to be able to be a part of even my reader's journey. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading a couple of stories or a couple of chapters each day of all of the authors and learning and growing with them. Cause it really, it is about you read a chapter and you take it in mm-hmm. and li- and feel the takeaway. Cause each of them has a story and a beautiful takeaway. So like, it's the perfect gift for, we've got mother's day coming up next month is internet is uh, international women's day or women's mm-hmm. history month. I mean, it's just got so many beautiful stories and lessons. And I mean, it's not even about my story being in there of how I, or why I started my business, but it's about all of the stories that are just woven together. And it's, it's a great, it's a great find. (laughs) Amazing. I'm so excited and so proud of you for, for being a part of that. I, that's one of those things that I aspire to do someday, right? One day I will do a TED talk. One day I will be an author. One day I will do this. It's all in the trajectory uh, or in the trajectory that I'm going, but you know, Mm. not quite there yet. Um, uh, some, so if you guys are interested in that book, uh, go check it out. Um, Lisa, I'm guessing it's on your website. I will make sure I post the Amazon link to it as well. Um, that is just phenomenal. I'm that, that's so cool. And to be an international bestseller on day two. Yes. Yes. And I'll I'll post the shine. I'll post the link uh, to, to the actual, to how to get an autograph copy. Cause um, that's uh-huh. the one that actually has my name uh-huh. on it. Uh, uh-huh. So that if anyone's wants one that actually has my name and I'll sign it and send it to them, I'll post the link in the comments on, on this. So Perfect. yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> um, 
other upcoming events, we have Mindset Mondays at 1130 Pacific, um, and then Tuesday evening podcast at four, and Wednesdays and Friday mornings at 9 a.m. All, all this is Pacific time, um, but, you know, it's easy conversion to, you know, figure out what time zone we go live. Um, we love for you guys to join us here on the Facebook page for the live conversation, um, as well as you know, download the podcast. Um, Cause you know, by downloading the podcast on your favorite podcast player, you can listen to us anywhere while you're doing anything. Exactly. Um, it's totally up to you. And <laughs> I just love podcasts for that format. I listen to podcasts in the car all the time. Um, and uh, go check out Lisa's show, uh, Engage and Shine as well. <sighs> Our cause of the quarter this quarter is now networking. We feel like it is our duty as entrepreneurs to give back um, to the world. And our cause of the quarter now networking helps um, young women who have faced adversity find careers, get into career paths. They follow them through high school and college and mentor them along the way. And it's just a really, really wonderful program. It's really awesome. Um, the wrapping up there uh we're gonna wrap up the quarter at the end of next month uh with their um spring gala so march 31st they're having a oh, gala nice. and auction uh so get your tickets and go support a great cause it's sure to be fun ray Ann sure knows how to throw a party um let's see what else we got going on I guess that's I, think that's it. I think that's it you guys it has been a wonderful week to spend with you guys talking about obstacles that distract talking with our wonderful guests um we have some more amazing guests coming next week so make sure you tune in thank you Lisa for joining us today we're so blessed to have yes, you as you. part of our table and of course we would love to have you back with us again uh, and listeners, we're looking forward to continuing to connect and build more relationships with more community leaders. That means you. We look forward to having you join us at our table. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.